Hey everybody, this is Dennis uh, on how to build your uh, own hyperbaric chamber. Uh, we have the door system right here. Uh, we've got the hinges set up and built into the window that the customer wanted, which is kind of pretty cool actually. Uh, we have another version that we do without the window that uh, mounts in there, but still comes out like this. So we built this with a sliding scale. There's gonna be three bolts locking down this piece to this piece so that we can get a really good adjustment if we need to. And then along with that, for sturdy, because the weight of the door is so heavy, we're gonna weld in a piece of this tank piece right here into there so that we have a really good uh, solid space for it to go. There's gonna be a little notch back welded back here so that it'll keep the door from moving too much. Like when it comes up, it only is enough to adjust the door against the seal. So the next thing we have, let me, let me pull this off of here. We have the seal on here. If you can go down here and look, you can see the seal. It's a uh, half inch uh, uh, rubber seal rolled and it lays in there perfect. It seals, we actually set it in with water and it held water with the seal on it just from the weight of the door. You can see how this has been laid, laid out with uh, some square tubing rolled around the jam on the plate. Um, and you can see this is the outside of the window with slots for square head uh, carriage bolts that are gonna go through that are um, chrome carriage bolts that are gonna hold the window and the gaskets all together inside there. Okay, and then over here, we're still working on the tank. We've got the windows in. There's three windows in here. The, the last window's in the, in, in the door. And if you can see, we've cut out the window uh, that came down so it's gonna be smooth with the uh, flush with the top of the tank. And if you can see in the back there, there's the, the last window out the back side, which the customer wanted. Um, this is uh, the next level of work that we're doing. By the way, if you're looking for those seals, those seals are at, uh, what was the name of the place? The O-ringstore.com. The O-ringstore.com. And you can buy length, length of uh, O-ring, and then you can cut it, they, you can buy a splice tool where you can cut it and glue it together. You're gonna find some of your better uh, uh, seals there. Uh, if, that's, if you need that uh, source for your seals for any doors that you may be making. So just wanted to keep you guys up. Uh, the next one will probably be when the uh, door is connected to the tank. Oh, by the way, we're gonna hot dip these, both these pieces in galvanized, uh, well, sorry, not hot dip, we're gonna, we're gonna um, electroplate them. And uh, so that we have a really nice clean seal where the, where the uh, gasket hits door so that we uh, it breaks free as easily as it seals so uh, you guys uh, take care and stay healthy